Drop it! What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Flet's Movies and Pop Culture 13. We discuss all movies. I'm your host, Kyle Curtis Flet. Today, we're going to discuss one of my favorite 80s films of all time. We're talking about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I'm not doing this alone. I've got a very awesome special guest joining me. She's a phenomenal, incredible content creator. She does amazing stuff on her channel. Actually, I had her on my channel before. We did our favorite screen. We did talk about our favorite screen moments throughout the whole entire franchise. And then I was on her channel. Um, one to be dropping very, very soon. I can't wait to share you with that guys. That, but we got Horror Herd joining me. How are you doing? Hey, thank you so so much for having me. Um, I'm doing good. You okay? I'm doing good. Um, thanks for agreeing to come on and talk about Killer Clowns from Outer Space because I know it's one of your favorites, one of my favorites. So this is gonna be a lot of fun discussing Killer Clowns. So. It definitely is. I'm excited about this one for sure. Yeah, like th I know, I know this is this movie is '80s cheese, but it's the classic '80s cheese. It's just amazing. It's a fun movie. It's one I've one of my favorite horror comedies of, of all time, and it is hilarious movie. So what it's about so you? It's so absurd. It's brilliant. Like it's just the absurdity makes it for me. Um, so, what was your first impression of the movie when you first saw this? Well, I actually am quite a late, um, a late comer to the movie. I only saw it for the first time a few months ago. And my first initial impression was, why haven't I seen this before? Because it's right down my street and it is just so clever, funny, witty. It's just got everything that you could want in that kind of horror movie. Yeah. And I liked it. It, it didn't take itself seriously either. It's just, mm -hmm. they, you know, you know, um, you know the brothers that you know that made this movie um you know and the the, the facts the way each clown looks i think is just amazing and <laughs> and and of course you get you know you, i like the clowns names you got you got you, know, you got jimbo um jumbo i mean fatso of course the iconic shorty my favorite one out of the clowns and then rudy <laughs> and so many more others you guys got spiky slim it go, the list goes on and they, they each have their own characteristics i love the fact you know they're using like popcorn guns to shoot the, <laughs> the victims you also got you know you know balloon animals are actually barking which is pretty yeah. funny <laughs> it's uh, brilliant i just like the way this is shot and not even when they even show the ship the ship looks amazing and then they're even they're they're all they're, they're carrying their victims in like um like cotton candy cotton, candy, candy, candy cocoons <laughs> <laughs> like they look like cotton candy grenades but <laughs> it's pretty funny it's so brilliant it's just it's very it's one of those movies that to be honest with you i'm a bit gutted we haven't had a sequel that was made in the 80s because i think that would have been really fun to see them return well they were teasing something right now but i think right now would be the perfect to do a mm -hmm. sequel now because right now i think the clear clowns are are very popular right now they had a resurgence especially with the video game the, the merchandise that's coming out everything so i think it's time to do a sequel for it and then i still think they can pull it off so. i agree with that i'm i'm uh i'm definitely up for seeing another installment i just think it's like you said it's, it is a good time because of the amount of um attention that it's got at the moment yeah, and even the characters, um, we got like Bohemian characters, like you know Mike and Debbie, the two mm -hmm. popular ones. I think they're great. Um, so, what were some of your favorite characters and moments? I love um, Rich and Paul, the, the two in the ice cream van. Um, oh yeah, I find them just so funny and just so I don't know, just like characters that I mean, obviously, a spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. There's a moment where you think that they've died and when you find out that they're actually okay for me that was one of the best moments for those two because it just it just showed their characters so well um but i love i love those two just their their commentary in the in the ice cream van and the little bickering and banter they have going on with each other is quite a lot of fun to watch 
Yeah, and I thought it was cool they were brought back for the video game as well because they're one of the exits. They come and help you at the ah. end. Of, at the timer gets um, to a certain point, so they show up. Yeah, I've not played the game yet. It, it is on my list to play. I've actually not played anything for a while, but it's definitely on my list because it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. So, like I said, I think Shorty's my favorite clown. Yes, and same. Especially one of my favorite scenes of the movie, and probably is yours, is when, remember, he shows up towards the bikers, and <laughs> the bikers are trying to bully him. <laughs> And then they destroy his bike, so he just jumps and grabs, and he grabs his boxing glove. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's just so good. It is. That's one of probably his funniest moments. I agree. And then they, they say, "What are you going to do? Knock my block off?" So he punches him, the head flies off, and like, and <laughs> damn. <laughs> it's brilliant. It is brilliant. And it's pretty funny because they're trying to bully a clown, and he's like. <laughs> Not having, and because he's so short as well, you're just like, oh, you kind of feel a bit sorry for him. And, and he's then, like, he can't do anything. <laughs> well, he can. He punched her head off. <laughs> <laughs> so they, and then I just love the guy's reaction. The other guy, damn, <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, I think another favorite scene of my is when they're. I think it, you remember the shadow puppet that he uses and it eats yes. the people. <laughs> yeah, I was about to mention that scene. Um, I actually rewatched the movie earlier just so I could get in the mood because I was really excited to do this video. Um, and that scene is just one that does it because he, obviously his hands don't look anything like what he's doing. And then all of a sudden <laughs> it's just like manic. It's just, it's amazing. I love it. I know, but it fits the movie very, very well. It does. And what's some of your favorite lines? <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to be the same as yours, but because um, I know we were just like having a quick conversation about that. But my favorite sign when he's like, what are you going to do with those pies, boys? And then all of a sudden, they just throw the pies at him. And it's just, it's brilliant. It's just one of those moments in the movie, you're like, that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Like, yeah. Fits in. And, and I think that is one of my favorites. But I think my other favorite line is, remember when the, the lady answers the door? I, I, I can't remember how exactly she says it. but And it's the, and, the, and then they show up in the, in the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I know which bit you're on about. They show up the pizza, and then of course he comes out the pizza box and uses the gun, and <laughs> I think shrinks her or you know baps her in. Mm. So, I think it turns her into a cocoon. So yes. it's yeah, brilliant. and it looks like cotton candy of <laughs> all things. It's pretty hilarious. There are some um, awesome moments, and like you mentioned with the balloon dog, um, the way that it's just like leading them, it's just so comical. But it just you wouldn't expect anything less in that movie. Yeah, and this movie, we can all agree, this movie has one of the most iconic themes. Um, mm -hmm. The band that they were, the band that you know, they created um, the song. It fits very well with Killer Clowns because it's like Killer Clowns, and they sing that song from outer space. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's um, it's iconic, and I think the mu the music in the movie is just every single bit of it just it just fits it's like you like you're watching a circus some sort of like deranged circus and it just fits so well yeah and then when they're finally on the ship i like how the you know the the walls look it just has that classic 80 they're mm -hmm. going for the clown look and you finally see the the main the main um clown yes that is i think the file acts a lot of fun as well it is. I really like the aspect as well of destroying their noses to kill them. I think yeah. that's really good. <laughs> and, and it shines, it shines, <laughs> it flashes after you shoot them in the nose. <laughs> I think that's really good. I just think it's one of those um, clever little things that you put in there. Because it's like, good. yeah, I was just going to say you could also throw a tennis ball at their friggin' nose. <laughs> yeah, because the nose is so iconic on a clown like it just makes sense that that would be what would kill them and you don't even think of that like you'd never think of that being the way to kill them and then they do it and you're like of course of course that's how you kill them like it just makes yeah. sense <laughs> i just couldn't imagine you know you me and sipping and, sh and shields and and um say taking on these clowns <laughs> we're all <laughs> <Imagine>. stuck <laughs> yeah see where that would go <laughs> You get Shay with his um, with his cherry tango throwing it at. The, well, actually, I don't think he really likes cherry tango too much, but uh, it'd be a lot of fun. 
<laughs> yeah. I kind of want to be in that position with you guys where we are actually facing killer clowns from outer space. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun if we were, <laughs> if we were in that situation or facing any iconic clue, any icon really would be fun. But, be but, but fighting the clowns, we got to survive. It. Yeah, I liked how they're, you know, they're shooting pop. I think one of the guns is a popcorn gun too. It is, Should, yeah. It, it's iconic. And yeah, there's so many iconic guns, like from the guns to the characters to the mm. clowns to the setting. I think it's perfect. It is. It's one of those movies that's just so well put together that you can't help but, but enjoy it. I don't see how anybody could actually dislike it, if I'm honest with you. No, I think it's 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 everything that you want from the 80s. It's just, it's per fun. It, it makes you laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like I said, the, and even, while, even the way the clowns walk are pretty funny. Yeah, and they all have their own little characteristics. I like a, another scene I like as well is when, um, I can't remember which what the clown's name is, but he's in the police station and the sheriff handcuffs him and then <laughs> he walks off and the sheriff's still holding his hands. Yeah, it, <laughs> the just, hands. Just fall off. Yeah, he just walks up, he has extra <laughs> arms and hands. <laughs> Uh, it's just great and then he turns the um sheriff into like a he obviously kills him and turns him into a ventriloquist doll i just it's just so amusing because i didn't yeah. like that character of of the sheriff i thought he was a bit of a one of the more annoying characters for me annoying and a jerk throughout the movie really. yeah <laughs> so to see that it was quite a lot of um satisfaction in that i think yeah it's pretty satisfying and then and then the way some of the clowns sound when they talked, when they made their noises, were pretty funny too. I would try to do it, but I would just set, end up sounding like an absolute idiot. But yes, it's it's um very, it's just on point, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, and even the theme park, I think when they go to the theme park, mm -hmm. is amazing too. Um, yes. Yeah, it's just the way everything looks. There's some like so many iconic moments in this movie. Um, like I said, I'm happy that the Killer Clowns is getting, you know, got resurrected and they're having success again, they're becoming popular than ever. So with the merchandise, video game, and whatever else, I hope they get a movie eventually again. I hope they do, or a TV series or something, just something that would bring them back on screen would be really good to see. Um, um, so what's the one moment to you that defines this movie? Ah, uh, so really, I would probably say the ending like you know when they're in the spaceship and the clans have chased them and then everybody's just together and it's just quite manic and they get the the ice cream van and they start talking through the clan on top of the ice cream van and trying to trip i just think to me it just sums everything into one in that scene yeah i think that the, it, it brings the movie everything that you love about the movie right in one at the end it brings yeah. everything together and gives you just everything that you loved about the movie and one at the end and brings everything together, like you said. 100%. And I think it's one of those movies that doesn't have a necessarily boring part to it. No. Like it's very smooth. No, because right at the beginning, it kicks off. <laughs> so, and then it just keeps you going after that because it's nothing, no boring moment. No, and it goes so quickly because when you're watching it, you just, you're having so much fun watching it. And you can rewatch it. I've watched it quite a few times now, and you can rewatch it and rewatch it. And, never and you get just bored. don't get bored. Yeah. You know what? I like, you know, the. It's funny, their, their spaceship from the outside looks like a circus tent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of nowhere. So that's pretty funny. It is, because you could literally walk past any circus tent and you never know what's inside. It could be the clip. Unless you, unless you go in there. So. Oh, that's true but it, and it's in the forest so i don't know why they were wondering <laughs> the forest to begin with but <laughs> that poor dog though that's the oh. only bit i'm like oh oh that poor scene dog. yeah that yeah <laughs> poor dog poor dog that's the only bit i'm like no can't i don't like i don't like it when things like that happen but yeah it's, it's um it's just funny then how they have their i know i've already said it but how they have their balloon dog all right after that scene it's just quite funny and it's actually woofing too it's making yeah. dog noises <laughs> i'm proper leading them it's just so funny <laughs> yeah um so you know and they i think is it fast has the red hair i think mm -hmm. 
And then, of course, Spikey, his hair actually is spiked up like crazy. <laughs> and Shorty has his iconic bike that he drives. Oh, he's, so, he's so cute, though. Like, I know he's a killer clown, but he's so cute. I'm just like, oh. Wasn't it the, where the police, if I remember this is the scene, remember, what, is it the police cop that's driving and they're, they're driving on the road too, the, the clowns? Um, or they're chasing somebody with their bike, I think, isn't it, in the car? I think so. Yeah, I think I know which bit you're on the back. Yeah. I'm trying to think that. Is that just right? Is that near the hardware store bit? Um, something like that, anyway, because I know they're chasing somebody on the road with a bike or some sorts of thing. It's just comical. And when they when all of the clans are like literally invading the street and it's like a parade of clans <laughs> holding these like candy floss flipping cocoons. <laughs> the cocoons. <laughs> and they're holding it. It's like what the hell? Like literally like, passing them out the window and stuff. I'm just like, this is just And then the one so throws funny. them across the room <laughs> over there so someone else could pick it up. It's pretty funny. It's just so bizarre. You can do that in the game too, by the way. Oh, really? You, you can carry the cocoons. I <laughs> definitely need to play that because it yeah. does look like a lot of fun, especially with fri Friday the 13th servers closing down. I need something else to sort of. I know that's a shame where that game yeah. went. That's a whole nother discussion. Oh, 100%. We will have that discussion. We will. We will, <laughs> we will have to because I, I think I got to, you and me got to discuss about that game because when that game came out, that changed things. Um, it did and we wouldn't have stuff like killer clans now would we if it was no that. we wouldn't have, well yeah people had of course people had dvd but it was friday 13 the game that really did mm -hmm. stuff to, to be honest um and because friday the game was a lot of fun we can do we can discuss that another video but 100 it, we, <laughs> we wouldn't have it if we wouldn't be if we wouldn't have that game but we wouldn't have evil dead we wouldn't have texas chainsaw right no. now it opened the door for that of course all these other of course, all this all other edge metrical horror multiplayer, and there's still more to come, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, there is. But the Killer Clans one does look. It looks a lot of fun, and it looks a lot a, a bit more like Friday the Thirteenth than some other ones in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, um, it looks a lot of fun. It, it has the fun factor like Friday Thirteenth the game did. So. Yeah, I've got to play that for sure. Yeah, and then of course, um, of course, Retro Realms already did their Halloween game, but there's another Halloween game coming out. So I hope. And with John Carpenter involved, so yeah, and apparently there are actually more two more Friday the Thirteenth games coming out as well, which would be quite um, quite Hold interesting on. to see how they do that. I don't know why my camera did that. That's all right. There we go. You know, <laughs> technology. Streaming. Technology it always happens when you don't want it when you're recording your streaming, but it could be fine otherwise. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, um, the killer clowns, like I think it's made fun human characters. I think all the human characters fit the story very well, even the, the, not, the ones that we don't like, they fit the story well. They do. And the clowns, each clown has their own look and characteristics and their own weapon and guns. You know, and of course, Shorty's got his boxing like gloves and getting the boxing gloves and just <laughs> the cuteness. I just can't get over his cuteness. <laughs> so and then sad. even the and even the wardrobe fits the setting very, very well that all the characters wear yeah everything so. blends in really well together um and even like in the in the you know when she's getting out the shower and then there's the little clowns popping up out of the laundry basket uh, <laughs> it's just even that it's just like it fits in really like it's so absurd but it just fits in yeah and then they show up with the pizza when them peers out of the pizza box yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and even um yeah it is hilarious every scene i think just steals the show rather than another it does i don't think that there's like a specific scene that outshines the other because they're just they all fit in really well and they've all got their own clever and good aspects of of the scene and each clown is is just perfectly written and put together and it, it sort of just everything just blends in really really well with each other i love that yeah um yeah, like I said, I think I could, I'm trying to. I know the, the brothers' um, names start with a C. It's the how do you say their names? It's the Chodo brothers. Uh, let me... so I know it starts with a C, and they're the ones that directed and did the practical effects and stuff. Um, one sec, let me. I know the last name starts with a C. I'm trying to think. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a weird one. It's almost like Choro. <laughs> like, it's a weird one. 
Uh, yeah. The Chodo brothers, or I don't know how you exactly say because I don't want to butcher the last name. <laughs> but I, the, the, you know, what, what I was saying, the brothers, I think they did an amazing job for this movie because it was a nice surprise. It's very underrated, the A's, I think. So. Oh, I think so as well. Um, you don't like, like you said, recently it's got a lot of um, like a really big fan base, but I think it has taken, it's one of those movies that's taken a little while longer for no reason at all because it's it is quite underappreciated yeah for sure and and like i said it um and it's funny it, and it's not and the clowns is not with a c it's actually with a k, k. which is pretty, which is genius too it's killer clowns with k because um, usually it's with a c right but they change it with a k and that's pretty cool i thought for the yeah, title it kind of just fits in with the different like the 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 different feel to the movie just everything just fits in from the name to like the costumes to the characters to the music yeah to the music the score everything just fits very well you know you know what the other funny line is remember she says i'm is it paul that says i'm jojo the ice cream clown he will give you a stick and give you a lick it will tickle you all the way down it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like where does it even come from <laughs> no, it's like really <laughs> it's pretty funny but i was like why <laughs> There's definitely some questionable um, lines. You like what? Like, and then there's what? this one from. And then there's this one from Mike. Um, there's clowns going around killing people. We're all in danger. I like I the one as well where the where the wife opens the door and she's like, the, obviously the clown's standing at the door and she goes to her husband. Oh my god, is this from you? Did you do this? And it's just, it's just so funny because if you saw that clown standing at your door, you definitely wouldn't be excited about it. But she just seems overly excited. <laughs> Yeah, and I think they even have some cool taglines from taglines for taglines for these movie. Um, is when um, in space, no one can eat ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. They're, I think that's their homage to Alien. Um, and of course, the gray show on Earth is just not of Earth. <laughs> I love it, but I, then, I I would have loved to have been around back then. I mean, I wasn't too far off, but I would have loved to have been around to go. And see that at the at the movies and feel how it was back then and how people felt about it back then oh i would love to watch this in the movie theaters because i think the theater experience would just have been amazing yeah so. it definitely would have i think the <laughs> audience has probably changed a bit now yeah the security guy what are you gonna do with those pies boys <laughs> yeah it's my favorite line i'm just like just because the the way that they throw throw them at him afterwards, and then he he dies, and then Shorty goes up and pops a cherry on top, and it's just perfect. <laughs> and and this one's from Debbie. Nobody's gonna put me in a balloon again. <laughs> 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 oh, there's just so many good moments. It's hard to pinpoint everything because there's a lot of highlights throughout the movie. That yeah, you can't just you can't pick one or two like moments that really stand out because everything just stands out i think all the moments in here do definitely i think it's one of those movies that is quite rare to get you don't get that in a lot of movies no you don't and especially it like I said, this movie's not doesn't take itself so seriously it's, you're just no. supposed to have pure fun with it and just it's like i said it's classic 80s cheese it's really you know it's just let your brain go off for a while and just have fun with this movie and it's definitely one of my favorite horror comedies of all time so. yeah i agree with you on that i think it's probably the best horror comedy in my opinion <laughs> Yeah, it's. I think you know, right up there. You know, Tucker Dale versus Evil is pretty funny too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, this is one of the best horror comedies of the eighties for sure. Because if you did like yeah. did a horror comedy list, it'd definitely be up there in the top ten with what I just mentioned. So, yeah, I agree with that. So yeah, like I said, from the clowns, the look, the characteristics, to the lines, like to the setting, I think, and everything that looks to the direction, yeah, it's just hilarious. It's just amazing. It is. It would definitely make a great um, like maze walk through, like a horror maze. I would love to see something like that, like Horror Nights or something. I don't know if they've done more. But... Yeah, I can't remember they have, but it would be cool to do a horror maze and it's almost like the spaceship kind of yeah. too. And then you see the clowns pop up and everything homage to the movie. So... It would be really cool. It's one of those ones that would be so effective if they did it. Yeah, 
and like I said that I think it has most one of the most iconic theme songs of all time. So it definitely does. It definitely does. And it just gets you in the mood straight off the bat. Like yeah. you know, you know, you know how good a movie is by by the choice of of music half the time. And this is just to have their own theme like that. So clever. Yeah, so the band for the come up with that song, it 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 worked out very well because it fit the movie perfectly. It really did. Yeah, so what else do you guys say about the movie? Um, I would just say I know I know I've probably I have mentioned it, but just that it does it it it's one of those movies that you just want more of. Like I know that franchises can really act outdo themselves and just um sort of go a bit over the top to the point that you start getting bored of the franchise. But I think if they did this the way that they did it originally, there'd be so many good movies. And it's just something I would like to see a lot more of. Yeah, I think I think at least deserves a sequel. And I think I know what direction they could have took. And still, if they still have the same tone as the original and still make mm. it fine with the second one, they can do amazing stuff with the, with the sequel, I think. So, I agree. And, and I think they can, you know, add a few more clowns too into it as well. That oh, one hundred percent, and make it more. I mean, if they're going to set it in um, modern day, they could obviously bring clowns in with newer technology, which would be quite fun to see what how they could play off with that, and um, just sort of play on on the modern aspects as well. Of things. yeah, and still have the tone of the original, be cheesy and yeah. stuff, just have fun. Yeah. So. And I, I don't know how many, I mean, I don't know who's still around from the original cast, but it would also be really cool to see them come back. At least make appearance somewhere or another, the ones yeah. that are alive anyway, because I think, I'm not sure if, it, if everyone is alive or not, but no, I, mean, I, know, I know some other, I know some are, some are, so. So it'd be cool, even if it was just like a cameo or something, just to see them, they deserve all the recognition, really. Yeah, so, like I said. Yeah, everybody worked hard on that. Yeah, everyone, like from the every, everyone involved behind the scenes to put their hard work into this movie. It's just, but you, and you can tell, you can tell from every aspect, you can tell the amount of detail and hard work that went into it. For sure, and the and the performances fit well with the movie. There's no bad performance at all. It's just a lot of fun performances. Yeah, so. I agree. Not not a bad performance anywhere. It's um a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. So, like I said, from the score to the characters to the direction. To the tone of the movie to the soundtrack it's just pure fun and i think it's 10 out of 10 for me because there's nothing wrong to me there's nothing wrong out of clear clowns i know this is probably not for everyone but for me it's it's a 10 out of 10 movie it's that's it's it's, a, it's perfect for me so 100 it's easily in my top five easily yeah it's right out there with my 80s movies my top 80s movies for sure so 80s has a proper feel about it as well doesn't it and this just gets all of the the eighties feels in it, and and the kills are a lot of fun. They don't have to be like gore and brutal, but they were still were like really except for when he popped his head off. That was brutal, <laughs> but you know it still wasn't like over like really over the top gory thing. But it was, still was a brutal kill for sure. So yeah, and they don't make it obvious, do they? Like they don't make the kills too obvious and too um over the top like it's definitely not like a terrifier situation no not like not like that <laughs> not like that clown but um but no but this the kills i think are a lot of fun and and they're they still have the brutal range but they're still like fun brutal yeah range. they keep to the tone of the movie they don't yeah. try and outdo anything it fits very well because i think even one of them gets stabbed with a friggin balloon <laughs> <laughs> like a knife kind of <laughs> so, but it's a balloon that goes through them unless i'm thinking about the game but it is brilliant though i just think every every like detail and like just the way that in the cotton candy how it can just kill them and just it's just i don't know it's so bizarre but as i said yeah. every kill fits to the tone of the movie they're putting the victims in cotton candy cocoons <laughs> that look like grenades <laughs> yeah, it's just mad <laughs> And the little thing that's on top of it when they're carrying the cotton candy is pretty funny. And the cotton candy gun to the popcorn gun, it's hilarious. Like the little like hook kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then they put them on this machine at the end too, I remember. Yes, yes, they do. And it's like in a big big like room, isn't it? And it's all like on this like machine thing that goes sort of round. I yeah, like I said, the movie was fun right to the end. I think the final acts just 
signifies is that it's just perfect ending. Yeah, definitely is. And I think that it just rolls everything, like just finishes everything off perfectly. Yeah, 100%. So, um, so yeah, that was our discussion on Killer Clowns. This was a lot of fun um, bringing you back on for Killer Clowns. And we'll definitely have to figure out when we're discussing about Friday through the game and other things. So. Oh, one hundred percent. I've got a lot of a lot to say about that. So, so do I. So we'll, <laughs> hope. So, viewers that are watching, you will see her back on. We'll let you all know when we plan that. So, for sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm always up for coming back on. I love love discussions with you. I love how we uh, sort of go off each other's um opinions and we, we i think we think quite similarly as well which is quite cool. yeah and and even if we just dis did disagree we still respect it so 100 percent, like it's an opinion isn't it <laughs> yeah it's just the opinions that we all have our different tastes anyway so 100 percent. But, but yeah thank we're you so much for having me back anyway yeah you're welcome so you want to let the viewers know where they can find you what you got coming up next on your channel Yep. So obviously my name is Horha. Um, I upload um, at least once a week, usually either top tens or um, I have something called Ice Cream Sunday where I talk about Scream because it is my favorite franchise. Um, I just do a lot of theories, top tens, um, like sort of timelines, basically anything that pops into my head. So if you do want to check that out, please feel free because I do appreciate any support. Sounds good. So yeah, if you're not subscribed to Horror Hers, go subscribe to her, her a challenge her who her, her uh uh child would be in the description, go subscribe to her. Um so I think like I said, I think you just reached five hundred subscribers, correct? Yes, so. today. Woo. <laughs> awesome. So congrats to her. So yeah, so go subscribe to her, help her get to six hundred. So, <laughs> thank you <laughs> you're welcome so and then as for me i will have another video dropping sometime this week but this friday i'm bringing um michael wolfman for mega movies we'll be just we'll be ranking michael mann movies so that's gonna be a lot of fun and then of course um mr hot take will be doing a stream with me on the first we'll be ranking alien versus predator films so i'm yeah. definitely gonna check that one out when you do that <laughs> oh yeah that's gonna be a lot of fun um and then of course on the third as long as it still works out, we're we're hoping. As long as it still works out, we're um, Sean Clark is going to should be coming on for uh, um, for our, we'll be discussing our top ten John Carpenter moments in his films. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then stay tuned. Like I said, I do got a couple of interviews that are locked down, and then one we're hoping that will happen. So once that happens, I'll announce who it is, and. And stay tuned for all the amazing stuff I have about rest for December coming up. So, so with that being said, for for watching, have an amazing, wonderful, enjoy the rest of your evening, enjoy the rest of your um, day, everyone. We'll talk again soon. Bye.